Hello everybody, Multi here, back with some more Kirby Air Ride. In the last episode, we unlocked four new machines, or at least four of them. I, I'm pretty sure it was four, yeah, four new machines, and some of the best machines in the entire game. Uh, today, we're going to be starting with a 20 lap race. Uh, I want to do, uh, I, I'm trying to decide between like doing, I think Beanstalk Park was the one I had listed, so I need to do that one. Uh, so Beanstalk Park, one of our objectives is we need to swallow 20 enemies and take first place. There it is. Okay, geez. Okay. And on top of that, we're going to give a Formula Star a chance here. So yeah, Shadow Star, Rex Wheelie, and Formula Star. So let's go. Well, that sucked. Okay, so I'm not going to show that race. All I'm going to show you is exactly what the result was. I died. I, I retired. And I would have lost anyways because I had to... Because uh, because the Formula Star was has, was having a, a, a lot of trouble with those... Like, making those, uh, making that specific part of the course. That's There's no way it's going to work out. I can't do that. Oh, here we go. Fantasy Meadows. Race one lap without dropping below 20 miles per hour. Okay, so let's just, just do a simple Fantasy Meadows race real quick. I mean, there's probably... Well... Honestly, Fantasy Meadows might be a better idea for a 20 lap race, because that course is a lot shorter. You can do like one lap in 20 seconds, basically. So let's do a Rocket Star race. Uh, I'm going to turn off... I'm sorry about this, but I'm going to turn off the damage here, because, uh, yeah, I'm getting really sick of that happening. Okay, so let's give this a try. Because I love the Rocket Star. Like, it just it's the one machine that you can use if you, want to, if you really want to feel speed, basically. Like, if you want to feel like you're playing some F-Zero game or some crap like that. F zero's not crap. Sorry. Okay, maybe not. This is gonna be a, actually a challenge. We just have to do one lap. All we just need one lap, or we're not going below 20 miles per hour. But how can you do that with this turn right here? I'm not sure. Okay, well, so far so good. Haven't gone below 20 yet. Oh well, we just sit there. Crap. Ugh. How am I gonna do this? I have no idea how I'm gonna do this. Get a boost. Get a boost. Get a boost. Come on. Come on. Yeah! Oh man, that that speed feels so good. Like whenever you're playing a game like this. Oh yeah, can't go over the grass either. That slows us down too. Ugh, come on, come on! Don't be a jerk like that. Don't be a jerk. Yeah, see, I can't charge if I want to do this objective, honestly. So I'm gonna have to avoid doing that with that turn there. Ah! But then you get like these straightaways too, and you don't. And the CPUs are trucking like way too far behind me, so I can't draft off of them, which means I can't. I lose the speed there. Okay, well. Okay, we're gonna try this. I'm gonna turn them all up, all the way up to level nine here instead. Here we go. Ah, I went below 20 there. Let's try again. Come on, come on. Okay. No charge. Ah! The quick... The, ah, whenever they quick spin on you, that slows you down. Crap. Okay, so I gotta avoid being quick spinned on, too. Fine. Oh, come on. Ah, I'm losing speed. No, I'm too far behind them now. Ah, okay, well, it's, we gotta charge in order to catch up then. <laughs> well, now I'm too far behind them. I can't catch up. Crap. Oh, wait. This might actually work in my favor. Because now I'm getting the speed help, so that way I can catch up to them easier. It's, this, uh, this actually might work out. Hang on, it's just... Uh, uh, they go below 20 there? I can't tell. Okay, no I didn't. But like, yes, as you can see here, I now, I'm now i now going a lot faster at like 24 miles per hour instead of the 15, which is the the Rocket Stars. Ah, but I just went... Ah, oh, okay, so gotta avoid the jump there. Apparently this thing slows down like during... Like whenever you do a glide or something? I'm not sure. Okay, so far so good. So far so good. Okay, I think we got it so far. I think we got this, we got this, we got this. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Haven't fallen below 20 yet. Let's do this, let's do this, come on. There we do, there we go, we just did it. All right. But I fell so far behind the CPUs though. All right, well, either way we got it. And we didn't, we didn't unlock anything, but still, it's just kind of a fun objective you can do. Uh, okay, so let's try. Okay, so I have not shown off the bulk star yet, and one of the objectives is to do Sky Sands free run lap in a minute five seconds with it. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Uh, this will be the time I show off the bulk star because I have not. Uh, come on. So free run, Sky Sands. We haven't done Sky Sands at all for free run. Okay. Okay, so here's the bulk star. The bulk star is a lot different. You have to charge it all the way up, like fill the gauge entirely in order for this thing to move. Otherwise, it will not move. 
it will actually stop in its tracks, basically. So this is one of those uh, rare machines that, right, that require you to charge up in order to use it, basically. Uh, there is one other machine in the game that's like that, but yeah. So cannot char So it cannot move without charging. It cannot move unless you charge it up. But on the bright side, it actually goes pretty fast. Like once it gets up there. In fact, actually, it might. Uh, it might even go faster than the Formula Star. I'm not sure. But it's like hard to say like what the actual top speed of this thing is because it will just keep on going faster and faster as long as you have it charged up, basically. So. But the, but the charge goes down like really, really fast, as you can see. So you have to like just keep charging and charging. So a lot of people are not a big fan of the Bulk Star, basically, because of that. But on the bright side, like uh, on the positives, it has a very high damage, like very high HP, basically, if, you, if you're doing one of, those, one of those races. It can take a lot, it can take quite a beating, basically. And it probably has good offensive capabilities, but don't quote me on that. Um, maybe good defensive capabilities, it's hard to say. But uh, needless to say, I don't drive this thing very often, like not often at all. But uh, the good news is the second lap will be faster than the first lap because of the fact that we were already charged up and already moving when we passed the finish line. So don't be too discouraged if you don't make it your first lap because the first lap is always going to have you like charging up at the start so you're going to lose some time because of that. So let's uh, stay ahead here. Now, you might be wondering, how can you tell if you're beating your time currently? Well, behind us is a uh, star. And that star is basically the ghost, sort of. Or the ghost of our best run, essentially. So just keep, make sure you're ahead of that, and then you'll know that you're winning, that you're beating your time, basically. Because your time is literally represented by that ghost, basically. The star, whatever you call it. Whatever you want to call it. Okay, charge up again. We just need, we just need to beat it by four seconds here. Somehow it beat me there. Come on. Come on. Ugh. Ah, still not good enough. We need to, we need to beat by two seconds. That is a that's a that's actually quite challenging. This uh, mission here. Okay, so clearly I have not ridden the Bulk Star enough. I have not gotten enough experience with it. But let me just say this: uh, the best thing you can do is actually charge as uh, charge as little as possible. Like let it get to full speed, basically, before you start charging up constantly to keep the the gauge filled. I think that's the one thing people struggle with the most with the Bulk Star is to, that you keep on you're trying to uh, keep the charge the charge gauge filled. That you keep spending way too much time charging, so you lose a lot of speed because of that. So I'm going to avoid doing that just for a bit here. And maybe that will be the key to winning here. Here we go. I think we got it this time. Nope. Uh, come on, come on. Yeah, we did it. Okay. So that's how you do it. That's how it's done with the Bulk Star. And we just unlocked Brown Kirby. I totally forgot that that was the unlockable for that Brown Kirby. Nice. Okay, folks, that is a quarter of all the uh, check, check uh, the entire air ride checklist filled. Uh, so we have a lot more challenges to do here. We got so much to do. Uh, we got magma flows in two minutes here, 4,800 4, feet. Let's try it. Time, two minutes, no time, or yeah, no time. Uh, let's try, we've already done uh, we've already tried Formula Star and Rocket Star here. Let's just do another machine. Uh, let's do Wheelie Bike. Jeez, okay. I forgot to set the CPU to level 9. My bad. My bad. Okay, here we go. Yeah, let's do this. Oh, seriously? That was so rude. So rude. You gotta hit me with a quick spin right down at the beginning of the race. Man. Uh, come on, come on. Let's see if I can get them for that. Yeah! That was probably the wrong Kirby. I, I don't know which one hit me, but uh, I still wanted to get back at them somehow. So that's one way to do it. We could also try for the uh, 20 Swall 20 Emmys objective here, but I'm not sure. Like you just have to like inhale an Emmy immediately as soon as you lose the ability, basically. So it's hard to time that. There's also another objective where you have to, where you have to ride all three of these rails in the volcano. I always ride the one on the one on the far right uh, because that's the one that uh, gets you to the highest spot, basically, and gives you the best, uh, the most speed, essentially, because you get to glide off of the top. And uh, I don't know, it's hard to explain. Like it, let, it lets me get to the that one boost panel up in the the floating island by the dragons, basically. 
All right, let's go for the middle one, see where that takes us. I believe two of the rails will lead you to the higher ground when it comes to that right before the the dragons. Uh, this one leads to a lower area where you can see the, the lava's kind of lava kind of flowing downwards. That one's pretty cool. And there's another objective where you have to use all the boost panels in one race in Magma Flow. So I'll have to try for that too. We'll have to do like a longer race. Like I'll have to uh, keep in mind like all the different objectives you can do in a long race. That way we can accomplish the most in you know that that time basically. So uh, yeah, I'll be trying that probably in the next episode. I want to do a long, at least one long race in some of these episodes so I can get uh, some more objectives done basically. Because uh, yeah, we got some a uh, lot of those long term ones. All right, well, it looks like we did it, I think. Did we? Yes, we did, and we got Magma Flow Sound Test. All right, uh, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have a lot of cutting in this episode with, uh, with because that whole, that long race I tried to do with the Formula Star in the beginning, so. Okay, should we do this one? I've been teasing this one since the very beginning. Finish the first plate, finish first machine passage, no walls, okay. So, laps. So one lap, and the best machine to attempt this with is the Swerve Star. That's your best. That's your best chance of getting it. Just one CPU. All right, let's see if I can do it. Here we go. One lap, no touching the walls. Here we go. Stop right there. Turn carefully. Since the Swerve Star can, uh, can like, so it will stop immediately. Like whenever you uh, charge, that's the best. That's the best way. Your best chance of doing this. So far, so good. No walls. That includes those uh, those uh, structures at the end of the race that kind of push you, too. So be careful. Now, right here, this is where it gets really challenging to avoid touching the walls. Because that includes invisible walls, by the way. You can't, it doesn't just include the actual walls you can see. Just to warn you. Oh, God. The hockey pucks, or whatever they're called. I just call them hockey pucks. I'm sorry. They literally designed this course with that objective in mind. Like, don't tell me they didn't. Because, like, watch all this. You like, see that crap back there where it pushes you into the walls? Like, that's kind of... That's very obvious. Like, they they literally designed this course intentionally with that objective in mind. Okay, does the ceiling count? Okay, thank God. The ceiling doesn't count. And neither does after you finish the race, too. Good. I think. Yes, it does. Okay. Here we go. Let's try and redeem the formula star, shall we? Free run. Frozen hillside. One lap, minute 10 with the formula star. Let's give it a try. Not start game. All right. Let's see how this goes. Uh, I don't know how people feel about me constantly cutting to the uh, the checklist like that and showing, okay, we're going to do this objective next. Okay, we're going to do that objective next, like so on and so forth. Like, that's going to take way too long if I try to do it that way. Um, so I'm going to, from now on, like, I'm just going to cut straight to, like, having the step already, already, maybe, I don't know. I'm just going to try different things, like, in different episodes. Because, like, uh, there's not a lot of, like, traditional Let's Plays out there of this game, especially those where you actually go through and complete all the checklists. Because, so, I, I worry it might be repetitive if I try to do, like, a certain way too many times. So I'm going to have to make some adjustments in the next episode. But here in this episode, it's like me cutting to the checklist constantly to show you what objective I'm going to do next. Uh, okay, yeah, these turns are just, so, are just the worst with the Formula Star, but we got to try for it. And again, I forgot what the time was. I'm not going to do that gag where I cut, where I cut to me saying it, because uh, uh, it kinda gets kind of old, these trying redo these uh, gags, basically. Did I get it? I think I got it, actually. Let's let's see. Oh, I did. Okay, so that was, that was an easy one, probably. Okay. All right, folks. Next time on Kirby Air Ride, we're going to complete some more objectives. Uh, yeah, quarter of the way done with the Air Ride checklist. Uh, I'm hoping it doesn't take 20 episodes. It probably will, but I'd rather we finish as soon as possible because uh, I want to get the top right checklist done and over with as well. And uh, you can tell I'm actually looking forward to more to one of the three checklists more than the others. And uh, yeah, I think that's I think it should be pretty clear at this point. But uh, still, we're gonna make the best of our time with Air Rise as much as we can with all these other fun objectives. So, anyways, folks, see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.